stop. Welcome friends. This is Dr. Aruna Patki, Doctor of Ayurvedic Medicine. A integrative national therapist in the United States. A yoga teacher. A healer. A medical coder. I am here to share and celebrate the month of October with all of you. As the, as the month of October, as we celebrate the month of October, we are celebrating and this month is dedicated to the breast awareness. Breast awareness, breast health, breast well-being, breast healing, breast care, breast self-care. So these are the all things what I am going to share with you all today on the Ayurveda Healing Spa live only for you. Friends, when we are talking about the Ayurvedic approach, we are also talking about the concept of offering the food which can improve the process of healing on the day-to-day -day basis. Most of us eat the food which has a lot of sweet, sour and salt. This kind of test or the food test very common compared to the pungent bitter astringent test in our food so what happens when we are talking about the test in the food that are also going to enhance our digestion and help on our day-to-day -day cleansing friends breast in female is a is a organ which represents the support units, which represents the nourishment, which represents the caring, which represents the, um, the, the bonding between the baby and the mother. So the female breast is, is, a, is a little bit different in the function and action compared to the male breast. But when we are talking about the concept of the health and wellness, we are talking about the the concept in male as well as female so let's let's hear uh, what ayurveda says about this concept of health of, uh, and awareness of our breast in ayurveda the breast is an organ which is located in the chest area chest area yes the thoracic cavity is the place where chest in the chest, in the middle part of our chest, the breasts are located. And this breast is connected with the, with the pectoralis muscle, which is on the sides, right? It is a muscle, it is a bulk. So the breast is an organ which is made up of different tissues and connected with the pectoralis muscle. It is a tissue which is a as per the modern science, if we see, it is made up of the glandular tissue, fibrous tissue, muscle tissue, all of that into one organ. In Ayurveda, today, the food which suits in the health and healing is very con uh, connected with the pungent, bitter and estrogen test as the sweet, sour and salty food enhances or increases the kapha in the body. As the kapha increases, the, the, this upper chest area and the head area all the way, the upper chest to the head is dominated by the kapha dosha in the body. And if we nourish the body with a sweet, sour and salt, then it increases the kapha, kapha aggravation in the body. And that can be one of the reasons you might be feeling heaviness in your breast or tenderness in your breast or sometimes it, if there is a lot of water imbalance then you will feel the sensitivity in the breast 
the pain in the breast and in my practice i see a lot of clients who who are always complaining about i have a tenderness i have a tightness i have a pain i do not feel comfortable it's a it's a it's a it's a kind of a uh, uh, your mind draining your energy draining issue for many of my clients as we consider food plays very important role and when i suggest to my clients to use certain diet in the food that always impacts on their breast health here i need just a one minute 30 seconds from all of you uh, and i'll be right back yes it's very important i i need to show you something So these are the herbs I'm going to share with you all today for the concept of breast health. Yes, friends, these are my herbs in my clinic. And if you see, if you see these herbs, this is a beautiful lemongrass. Yes, lemongrass. And then we have beautiful Tulsi. And my yesterday's live, which was, uh, um, uh, which is available on my Facebook Ayurveda Healing Spa page, where I am showing all the Ayurvedic herbs, the the herbs from my garden which are going to help you to use it in the form of applications um, specifically making the best and applying it on your breast and let it letting it absorb on your breast area to release the pain to release the tired uh, like the the heaviness the uh, the stiffness or the feeling of heaviness in your breast tenderness so these are the herbs they are going to help you to to release that or to open up these channels in the breast area as breast is, uh, breast and the breast surrounding is connected with the pectoralis muscle with the muscle tissue with the fibrous tissue with the fat tissue 
So we need to consider all of these points when you are healing and helping someone who has a breast issue and who is not comfortable in the upper chest area. Yes, in Ayurveda, we all see the things, how the health is connected with each and every organ. Only we do not talk the concept of liver health or we do not talk the concept of lung health or we do not talk the concept of breast health. In Ayurveda, we always talk the concept of health of the body, health of your mind, health of your spirit, health of your inner energy. So the balance and harmony on the mental, physical, spiritual and emotional levels of your body along with your environmental health or environmental surrounding all that plays an important impact on your concept of health your daily routines your daily lifestyle your food habits your offerings of the food your way of living your way of conduct your way of following certain social responsibilities social behavior your way of he uh, your way of doing goods to yourself as well as doing goods to in your surroundings that all comes under the sadhvritta that means the uh, the ways of following certain conducts on your day-to-day -day basis that all is connected with your your health so everybody is going to impact on your health. So specifically as this is a October month and October month is dedicated to the woman's breast awareness health or breast awareness. I as a female, as, as a, uh, am as a feminine energy or as a Ayurvedic doctor or as a holistic practitioner, I would like all of you viewer, my female friends, to see if they can change a simple thing what they offer in the breast area is like using wireless bras or using bras with no cupping, padding or which has metals around uh, in the brassier. Yeah, in the in the undergarments where we use the braciers to support our breast do not have the the metals which can give the shape to your breast and which can uplift your breast so never ever use these kind of specific bras just to um, for the external beauty I think that is the most most harmful thing we are offering to our body considering our external beauty matters a lot friends if if this using of this bra this specific bra can block your lymphatic system flow your flow of our rasadhatu in the body our flow of our detoxification our flow of our garbage removal of the body that is what the lymphatic system works in our in in our um, physical body or physiology of the body that our lymphatic system helps to cleanse on the day-to-day -day basis but because of our way of living we obstruct these channels we con we congest or we 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 block these channels and these throttles, if they are not open, the flow of the energy is not going to happen properly and that's where you are going to have the accumulations of toxins and accumulations of holdings, the vest in the body. See, do you like to hold your vest in the body for longer period of time? In Ayurveda, the vest has to become out out of the body in 24 hours of our cycle that is called it as the as per the modern we called it as a, upon our circadian rhythms in the body but in ayurveda our body has to clean on the day-to-day -day basis and that's where you need to cleanse yourself once in a morning time 
as per the ayurvedic rituals in the morning time you need to bring all this waste out of the body so that you can you can detox you can cleanse you can open up your channels you can create a space in the body for the good stuff to come in otherwise what happens is like your garbage is holding in your body the they are stuck in your body they are blocked into your body they are not moving properly on top of it we do not stop eating from here so the junk is stagnated here in our abdomen in our uh, intestine area in our lower abdominal area where the toxins are already accumulated and on top of it that's not cleaned that's stagnated it's like your toilet is jammed right at home we have toilets right when it's jammed what do you do you have to create and then you have to remove and you have to give the flow right that's the logic the same here with the body you need to clean it first before you offer anything from here before you offer through the mouth it has to be cleaned at the bottom then only you should offer here that's what ayurveda says if you need a, your perfect health just eat what is required to your body when you are hungry do not eat because it is a time of eating it's 12 pm it's 1 pm it's 2 pm it's 11 am never ever do that because if you are just eating because it's a time of eating and if you do not have that sensation of hunger if you do not have your saliva is drooling if you do not have that proper hungerness in you then you are creating the hazards and havoc to yourself so friends male as well as female if you are looking for the the breast health in male as well as female then you need to think about all these points and you need to practice all these points and there are certain teas you can do on the daily basis which is like lemongrass a lemongrass tea which is like a ginger tea um, which is like a the 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 tea with a uh, ajwain ajwain is like a carom seeds ajmoda you can make the teas out of all these herbs and you can drink these teas just to cleanse up a little bit channels in that area again the cleansing of the body what to eat what not to eat what is good for you what is not good for you what are the exercises what are the asanas what is the therapeutic yoga what are the activities good for you ayurveda sees every person and advise every unique approach to that individual and that all goes as per the prakriti of the person which is the basic nature of you so every person is a unique person in ayurveda and as a ayurvedic doctor as a doctor of ayurvedic medicine i always tailored my program which are very unique which are very customized and which are only eligible for that specific person and that's where the concept of ayurvedic panchakarma comes in which is a very beautiful customized approach depending upon desha dusham balam kalam sattva satme aharam that means depending upon your location depending upon your environment depending upon your season depending upon the time of the day depending upon your age depending upon your prakriti depending upon your vikruti all these panchakarmas are tailored only for you and i'm very happy to have this my practice of 20 years in the united states as a ayurvedic doctor as a nationally recognized integrative therapist massage as well as ncbtmb also as a yoga teacher i have my own unique programs which are running under the ayurveda healing spa workshop page or educational page and very soon my program which is a healing on the day to day basis the self care the rejuvenation therapy which is called it as a authentic ayurvedic acupressure is coming up on my website and you all can take care of yourself by going through the step wise 
in this program i have mentioned stepwise work you can do follow and enjoy for your self care as well as your self love so friends i hope this is helpful to you what to do to increase your breast awareness breast health and the body awareness and body health i hope this is helpful this is dr aruna patke doctor of ayurvedic medicine live for ayurveda healing spa page located or from united states of america and i'm very happy to introduce my way of healing if you are interested to know about you and your health and your conditions and your disease management in ayurveda you can always connect with us my number is 0017048080708 you can always follow me aruna patki on facebook or ayurveda healing spa spa page which is my business page as well as you can also follow me on instagram and linkedin i hope this is helpful you are always welcome to connect with us if you need your guideline for your disease if you need any consultations any guideline from ayurveda we do that on phone also we offer the phone consultations we offer the phone healing we offer the phone guidelines we offer the phone healing therapies for your health and wellness if you cannot make it during this covid time i hope this is helpful namaste enjoy your rest of the day enjoy your weekend and weekends are always meant for rest your body so take care of yourself namaste